Wisconsin voters are also choosing a governor. Democratic Governor Tony Evers is looking for another term in office, and he is being challenged by Republican businessman Tim Michaels. They both cast their ballots this morning saying they feel confident. Michaels ended his campaign tour in Kenosha last night, and Governor Evers also made several stops, including one in Milwaukee. Polls are calling this uh, race a toss-up. It's good for democracy, you know, when, when democracy has been uh, challenged uh, and, you know, the way we, we, we talk about our democracy and, and deal with it is by voting. And if we have lots of people voting, that's, that's a good thing for, for, uh, for our democracy. I feel great. I just voted. It's a beautiful day in Wisconsin. I encourage everybody to get out and vote. Uh, people are frustrated. They're tired of record inflation. They're tired of crime being up. They're tired of 401ks being down. It's time for change, and that's what this is all about. We're going to provide bold leadership for the next four years and take Wisconsin to new heights. Thank you, guys. And a U.S. Senate seat is also up for grabs in Wisconsin. Incumbent Senator Ron Johnson is facing Wisconsin Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. The latest Marquette Law School poll shows that Johnson is beating Barnes 50 to 48 percent. However, that is within that margin of error. The final tally could take a while as well. Mail-in and absentee ballots couldn't be opened until 7 o'clock this morning, putting it behind some other states.